What's going on everyone? This is Smitty here and in this video talking about the NBA 2K17 you know we got the prelude demo coming up on September 9th basically trying out for my career but what I'm curious about is as far as the gameplay aspects are concerned like as you see here with the my player I'm not really a huge my player guy but I may I dabble in it a little bit but what I'm curious about is as far as these caps are concerned, are these going to be held true in terms of people that like to, you know, just purchase VC and just use that to build their guy up? Are those going to hold true in terms of those skill sets? That's the first question in terms of those cap limits. The second question I have, though, is in regards to the body types. Now, you see how you have all the different trade-offs based off of the position and based off of, you know, what kind of abilities they'll have there. And even with the wingspan. Because remember, NBA 2K, they've had the wingspan in there since 2K15. But is it all going to truly matter? And, and what I mean by that is, because we know the game has questionable ball physics, questionable player movement, and a lot of two-man animation sequencing. Going on. So in order to be true to, ha to uh, these organic elements that they're speaking of in the game, we're going to need to see the gameplay reflected that same organic matter. Or otherwise, our players, our users, just going to fall victim to just some scripted sequence that, you know, uh, various players will be able to share based off of what kind of collisions they have or when they trigger based off of what shot type or what badge they may have, you know, etc. These are the kind of questions that I'm hoping are going to be answered for us. That we'll be able to see in this in this uh, test demo here. So you know, that's just my thought on it. That's the things that I'm, I have concerns for because as we see every single year, yes, the animations look beautiful. Yes, it, even though it's a scripted sequence, they they have a great job with giving you a good visual. But I need the game to feel organic. I need to feel that I'm in control of the player that I have and what I'm using based off of these settings and everything that you see that fluctuate up and down and have their cap limits based off of um, what kind of player type you pick and then also what kind of adjustments you make as far as the physical. Because I want to see a fair balance between physical player, you know, of the physical aspect and then the ratings, of course, and then, you know, the ball tangibility, and what kind of moves are you're able to perform as well so i want to see that nice blend come together hopefully we have that control and we're able to get more of that full control as a user and see a lot of that scripted play go as far away as possible from this game especially since they had their other trailer talking about the friction with all the physics and everything so you know um let me know what you guys think what your thoughts or concerns may be about this game and um especially this demo upcoming on september 9th so let me know you guys thoughts and i'll be back for more videos y'all all right take care peace thanks a lot for your support on today's video and don't forget to like comment and if you definitely want more content like this hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything Definitely follow me on social media as well and tune in live right here on YouTube with myself, Cement Ball Critic, and Azure Effect for the Sim Standard Google Hangout. Until next time, guys, take care, be safe, peace.